here with us. To your left, we have Mr. Walter Caprian, who is Director of Launch Operations for the Kennedy Space Center. And Colonel Thomas Stafford, who of course was the commander of the Apollo 10 mission. Uh, making some flight controls checks is a piece of uh, GSE, not flight equipment. As a result of that, we had to make a... Uh, uh, make the environmental control system of the spacecraft on the internal. Up to this time, we've been providing external sources for the environmental control system. We've, we're checking the hydraulics of the first stage of the launch vehicle now. We are still go. One minute, 40 seconds, and coming at this time. T minus 90 seconds and coming. T minus 90, still go. Our status board here in firing room two indicates all is still well with the countdown. Third stage tanks now pressurized as the automatic sequence continues. One minute, 15 seconds and coming. After that, Alan Bean has just brought the entry batteries on the main power source in the spacecraft. We've conserved those batteries up to this time. We're coming up on 60 seconds. Mark, T minus 60 seconds and coming, T minus 60. Alan Bean running up the volume on his VHS. 50 seconds and coming. 50. We've now gone internal power with the launch vehicle. We're on the internal batteries in the three stages of the Saturn V. T minus 40 seconds and coming. The spacecraft commander now performing his final function, pressing the button to align the guidance and control system of the spacecraft. Coming up on third. Mark, T minus 30 seconds and coming. T minus 30. 25 seconds and coming, we're still proceeding. T minus 20. 17 seconds, we're on back. We have guidance in general. 10, 9, 8, producing sequence 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Spacecraft, you heard uh, Conrad's report. Yeah, 
He said he's not sure they didn't get hit by lightning. Okay, I have a good GDC and Alice got the fuel cells back on and we'll be working on our AC buses. Right, Peach, your fuel cells look good down here. I'm going through those clouds with uh, rain clouds. I think we need to do a little more all-weather testing. Amen. Slide yeah, side the 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 gang good show, Peach, you're in mode two. Like your speed car has been the others and done schedule. We're going to fly up to the uh the gangster shade, it's very good still. Plus the platform with that to you. We've got good telemetry now. Okay, uh we've got uh Alice is uh on the right and we've got a cycling CO2 partial pressure high, which I don't probably be particularly and we have reached all the fuel cells. We have all the buses back on the line.
homemade documentary fans this is your host the creator Jackson I just wanted to take a brief moment to thank you to express my sincere gratitude for all the attention you've showered me with over these last few months and years I started this channel more or less at the age of 16 halfway through high school I'm 21 now and I never expected us to get this far when I started I didn't even really expect anyone else to watch these videos I made them for myself, and in some ways I still do. I make the videos that I'd like to see, and your support, your feedback, and your voice has been unbelievably gratifying. I couldn't have done this without people like Mark Gray, who runs a wonderful store called Spacecraft Films, where you can get most of the visual content that I use in my documentaries. 
as well as the wonderful support of people like Simon over at Lunar Module 5. Definitely give him a visit. And of course, my inner circle of friends, who help me proof watch and cheer me on when the going gets tough. Sam, Abby, Cam, and Colin. You know who you are. To my viewers and subscribers, I just want to say a couple things of actual substance now. It is true that I use good music in my videos, and for this reason, I cannot monetize. Perhaps in the future, I will seek out other means, such as crowdfunding platforms like Patreon, but I don't think it's appropriate at this juncture because I'm not able to dedicate myself to this channel full time, so I would feel uncomfortable asking for your money. I will never charge for my content, which I strongly believe should always exist in the public domain. This channel takes up a small balance of my available time, the majority of which goes to university and my time as a volunteer firefighter. Nonetheless, I'm dedicated to continue the wonderful community of storytelling, science, and history that we've established here on this small little corner of YouTube. And frankly, I wouldn't have it any other way. My payment now is in validation. Validation of the effort that I have made in trying to keep that flame of exploration alive. I call this channel Homemade Documentaries precisely because it's largely just the work of one person, myself with no financial or corporate interests behind me. I literally make these documentaries in my own home. There's no staff or studio. The moment I do get picked up by a larger company or channel, if that ever happens, in my mind it will cease to be homemade documentaries. And whatever I end up doing, it won't be on this channel. But don't worry, I'm not going away anywhere fast. So stay tuned. I'm still working hard to deliver to you season six, which will open with a full feature-length documentary on Apollo 16. I've got some wonderful things in store for all of you. Thank you again, and keep looking up.